so what we are going to do today is a rear brake pad or shoe change it doesn't really matter which vehicle you have or which uh, manufacturer your vehicle come from if you have a set of rear drum brake shoes or pads the process is going to be same no matter which vehicle you have it's a suv sedan hatchback or any else if you have a drum brake setup at rear this is going to be the video and the thing you need to keep in mind while you are working on your rear brakes you need to make sure that your handbrake is not engaged because if your handbrake is engaged the brake pads are uh, pushing against the uh, brake drum which will not let the drum come out so disengage your handbrake put in first gear or second just to stop it from rolling and now we can proceed You also need a T30 screw driver to remove the security screw. Now the very first thing we need to do is we need to as you can see uh, these are two support screws held in with a spring and as you can see there is only one way out to remove this thing you need to rotate this center to align with the hole so by using a needle nose plier or a parrot plier whatever you have you have to do this and one on this side and then the brake pads will come loose from their places then you have to disconnect this handbrake cable which is on the behind <coughs> by just pushing it back and one thing is very crucial slide your finger across the braking area to see if there are grooves if there are grooves there is no sense of putting new brake pads they will wear it out very quickly so get it resurfaced from a machine shop or if you want to buy a new one go ahead and buy a new one but this surface should be smooth so the very next thing is to as you can see there are marks on the back side of the drum these are some points where you can actually grease one two three four five and six so if you have grease you can grease them not much just a little bit is enough as they'll attract a lot of brake dust then very next thing is to clean your hands because you don't want grease to be on your new brake pads secondly you'll take the brake pad uh, we are doing the rear right so the handbrake cable uh, latch should be on the inside 
keep that in mind as we need this part to be exposed to uh, clip the springs back on. Handbrake cable clipped. Now we have to place this brake pad on its initial position so that we can finally secure it in its position with the help of clip. This clip goes backwards from this position. This may not be visible at the camera but this one is then the spring then another one opposite direction then a plier and you lock it into its final position done so what we need to do is take the upper spring because it will be the hardest to install installing it on this side before that we also want to install the self adjuster then we want to use this self adjuster as a pivot we need to install the pin where is the pin lever of the self adjuster or should I say the stopper which stops it from going backwards now the next thing is this small spring into this hole of the brake pad So this is the way how we uh, change the rear brake pads and drums on a any car which has a drum brake set up on the rear. So now the only thing left is to put the drum back on after cleaning obviously if you want to this is a nice opportunity uh, to paint the drum again. Uh, I couldn't get my hands on matte black can only glossy black was available that's that's the reason why I'm leaving at this point of time this thing. I'll get back to it as soon as possible.